The University of New Mexico Athletic Department is taking on new costs despite budget problems. UNM Athletics has been in the red for six years, and now it's adding a new sport. KOAT Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton talks to students who think this decision just doesn't add up. It's official. Sand volleyball has landed at UNM. The university announced today the Lobos will compete on the sand court next spring. Joining 46 other schools across the U.S. who sponsor sand volleyball. It's the first sport the university has added since 1993 and will be played exclusively by women. But some feel adding collegiate sand volleyball is not the best idea, especially after UNM's athletic department recorded a $173,000 budget deficit during the last fiscal year. If you're overspending on a budget, certainly not. And the budget could have been directed to other activities that have already been in place. When a university takes on a new sport, it comes with costs. Everything from scholarships and travel to uniforms and equipment. At the beginning, UNM will do this on the cheap, just about $4,000 by using coaches already on staff and offering zero scholarships for sand volleyball. But as the program grows over the next five years, UNM says when fully funded, the program could cost an additional $120,000, depending on economic factors. They're already in a deficit, and they're going to be spending more money. They're going to have to get the money from somewhere. And that music is it's going to come out of our pockets. Students just hope the bills get paid, or the Lobos may find themselves fiscally in the dirt. In Albuquerque, Matt Howerton, KOAT Action 7 News. The first roster for the new team will consist of five players who only play sand volleyball. The rest will most likely be players from the women's hardcourt volleyball team.